<laughs> well, uh, I've been away. Um, I had a little bit of a, an express tour of, uh, America, um, LA and New York, and, uh, they're all talking about one thing out there. Carl Pilkington. Really? Yeah. Um, I, I hooked up with the Simpsons lot, they all listened to it on their, their iPods. I went down to the American office to keep an eye on, you know, things. Yeah, check, check it, check it. Well, as we get money for old rope for yeah, doing yeah, next yeah, to nothing, yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, I'd yeah, show yeah. him a face. Yeah. They're big fans, Carl. I, I met up with Jason Bateman, you know, Arrested Development, and, uh, he knows how stupid you are. David Letterman knows what an idiot you are. Mentioned on the Letterman show. I mean, unbelievable. David Bowie listens. And they're all listening to little Carl Pilkington. I think, when I think of people like that, like, like pretty much geniuses in their yeah, field. Yeah, sure, yeah. But, uh, when I think of Bowie listening to it, I still think of him as 26, dressed well, as- Well, he's dressed as Ziggy. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. With a pair of those big <laughs> 70s headphones. <laughs> yeah. And he's going, hey mom, can you turn the TV down and listen to Pilkington? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I love his kooky outlook on life. <laughs> uh, and, uh, Christopher Guest. Now, Christopher Guest, um, empathises with you a little bit, because obviously everyone else sort of knows how stupid you are and not understanding concepts like, you know, the infinite amount of monkeys. But he empathises with that because he thinks that sometimes, he, he thinks that he sometimes doesn't understand concepts that uh, seem obvious to other people. However, um, I think he's being polite. I don't think you've got a lot in common with him because he did all the other genius stuff. You know, what you did was do the washing up with your pants pulled down slightly, you know. It didn't have the same effect to say- It's not been as influential as Spinal Tap. Oh, wait, for Guffman! <laughs> no. no. I mean, unless people- uh, maybe that's sweeping the nation now. Maybe if someone sees <laughs> someone nude in a room opposite their house, they immediately they get, get their cock out. They go, <laughs> genius. That's genius. Well, I did a, uh, uh, an appearance at the Oxonian Society in New York. It's a Princeton College, uh, run event, and they have, like, academics, artists, political figures. They have, uh, heads of industry. They had world leaders. They've had Prince Hassan uh, of Jordan. And there was a Q&A afterwards. And one of the questions was, is monkey news coming back? Yeah. In that sort of forum. Mm. I mean, it's, yeah. it's- I believe they also asked that of, uh, Bill Clinton. <laughs> they did, yeah. Now, Carl, is, is monkey news coming back? I mean, maybe. It depends what goes on out there. It's gone a bit quiet, hasn't it? <laughs> on, the man, well, on the monkey front. <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that I don't know if they're aware or whatever that it's being covered, but it's just like, you know, <laughs> there's no point, you point. can't make news, can you? All these news channels, that's the problem with it. They've committed to saying we're a news channel, you gotta find news, well don't do it like that. Sure. I'd say put something else on, if now what's going on Cartoons. in the world. Just, just- Is there just, often no news in the world? On the planet Earth with six billion people? Is there ever a day when they go, no, nothing? But, but I'm just saying, the news is- uh, how, what, what is it, about half an hour long? That's There's news channels well, that are 24 yeah. hours. But yeah, you're not thinking of one specific news programme that's on in your house. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's half an hour. How much of that- No, well, no, hour? no! You look again! You, again, you don't- you, I've told you that not all news programmes are half an hour by definition, but you go anyway, it's half an hour. Again, you didn't listen to me. Why do you think all news programmes are half an hour? They're not. I'm just saying- uh, how much of that do we actually need to know about? But we don't need to know about any news. There you I go. mean, a a outside sort of dangerous situation. It's interesting. It's, it's entertainment. People want to be aware. People want to be hooked up. I mean, I, I don't, um, uh, you know, watch the news much or read papers. But it's funny when I'm away, I do. I suppose it's because you want to feel connected with with what's yours. It's that feeling of being part of society, isn't it? No, but there's there's places, say like there's places where they don't have telly, right? and they're not watching the news, they're still getting on with life. Yes, they are, And yeah. they're bogged down with their own problems, which is the way it should be. Say, like, at the moment, I've got a leak in the bathroom, right? Have you? It's doing me head in. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I put the telly on to get away from all that, and then you put the news on, they go, oh, there's a, you know, bad weather in, what's it? You go, oh, don't tell me that as well. I like it when you hear about inventions that are coming out, or, you know, uh, stuff they're doing in science. But you, uh, but you told me the other day that you thought everything that needs to be invented has been invented. Something they said in 1900. But, uh, so what do you think? Yeah, I, I mean, they are sort of playing around now. Like, they've, they've said they've made, uh, like a, a heart now that can be bunged into a body if yours isn't working and keep you going. But why is a, why is a heart that you can bung into someone to save their life, why is that a bad thing? Just because it's another thing, isn't it? That's we're meant to die from from the year dot. Uh, things <laughs> live. You have your bit. You knock about, and then you die. If you're going <laughs> to live forever, how do you plan stuff? 
Right. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> sure. You sort of go. How big would your diary well, be? Well, that diary would well, become is, intimidating, this wouldn't this it? Get, 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 fill that in for the rest of eternity. And, and you get bored. You get bored with living forever. And, you know. But I agree with you. You get bored of people. You'd have to keep making new mates, wouldn't you? Because you've discussed everything by the time you're about 110. <laughs> <laughs> 110? So it's kind of like. Carl, you have the same concepts that you worked out and decided that were true at about 10, I think. I look at life like a. Like a Box big book. Shoppers, like a big book. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Right? And, you know, sometimes you get halfway through it and you go, even though I've been, you know, I've been enjoying it, I've had enough. Um, Give us another book. No, 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 no. Your metaphor, analogy, whatever you're, you're trying to create there, falls down with let's have another book. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You, you can either opt out of life... Or stick with it till the end. You can't go, ah, be someone else now. You can't do that. I know you think you can, and I think in your world you can, you know, you possibly be injected into an old woman's head <laughs> when you've had enough and you come out a little baby. What I mean is, at the moment, you know, my life, uh, I'm going to live to 74, 75, okay, right? Okay, right. So, yeah, I'm probably on page, what am I on? A, a book that's got about... This is painful, Steve. This is really painful. Come on, sorry, I'm, carry I'm, on. I'm on, I save my book's got, uh, 300 pages in it. Yeah. A few, <laughs> few pictures and that. <laughs> um, it's a picture book. That's the great thing about Carl's life. I, it's a book it? for children. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pop-up book. Yeah. <laughs> and it just, every page he pops in, he goes, <laughs> all right. All right. I'm probably on, like, page about 170. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna die at 74! Yeah. He's reading a book with a few pictures in with 300 pages and he's on 170. Go on then. So, right, if, if the book was too thick, right, and there was loads more pages Let me tell left, you, this book is way too thick. Yeah. <laughs> if the book was m more thick, yeah. <laughs> the book could not be thicker. If there was loads more pages left, I'd go, I can't be bothered reading on. Right. <laughs> okay. But that's you must, let him finish the analogy. He must have known that when he saw the book. You We've do, got you, to finish this analogy, right. otherwise we're going to be here all Listen, night. Listen, he must have known how many pages there were when he got the book out of the library. Yeah, but the way they write books, <laughs> they're painting pictures more at the beginning, you're going, this is good, and then it, it gets a bit boring as it goes on, doesn't it? Okay, well that works. So you're saying that you were, you no, were young. No, it doesn't work. Well, no, you just well, accepted no. that's what all books are like. No, but there's a little bit of poetry in that because he's sort of he's actually saying that you know, when he was young, his our whole life was ahead of him. He couldn't wait the whole world, the promise that he was given of this world, and now he's he's, he's a bit jaded and he's more cynical, and he realizes that the world hasn't got uh, as much to offer him as he thought it was. Is that what you meant? Yeah. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Envy on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant. Absolutely, yeah, hello. That clang you heard there isn't Carl. No. Carl's away. It's Sturgis. Claire Sturgis is here. Yeah. Hey. You'll know her from the Claire Sturgis show, but so uh, we know her from our early days on XFM yeah. and, you know, we're, we're good friends. It's sort of like uh, old times, isn't it? And Carl has uh, had a little surprise birthday present. What's the you? story with this, Claire? Because I don't well, know Well, I, do you know, I, I came in on Monday expecting to see his little smiley face yeah. as usual and uh, it's always not here. Um, yeah. What do you mean? So, but his girlfriend had surprised him and dragged him off to the Caribbean for a week. Wow. No, Canary, isn't it? Oh, Canary, I mean, I don't yeah. know. He, he likes the Caribbean, he likes the crabs. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he was bored of the Caribbean, I thought he didn't enjoy it last time. No, he loved it, didn't he? No, I don't think he did enjoy no, the crabs. No, Tunisia he didn't like. Right. He's but been travelling, hasn't he? I know, yeah. He gets he, a bit. He didn't like Tunisia because there's flies the size of matchboxes. Of course. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, midgets in the kitchen. No, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Midges or midgets? <laughs> midgets, he said. Right. Yeah, it was kitchens. midgets. He wasn't saying anything bad, he said that there were lots of midgets in there. Lots of midgets in the and kitchen. And I thought it was, he'd, he'd gone away to some sort of like theme holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> no, this is uh, I think Grand Canaria, all the Canaries or whatever it's And called. how old is Carl? Wait, I, 30. Is he 30? Is 30 last three? week, I think, yeah. Oh, so oh. was that your birthday present? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay, I just so, thought, but, yeah. but, but that's all right. So have you got a competition that you can uh, regale us with, Claire? Because uh, obviously Carl provides a lot on this show. Hold on. We could do what? White Van Clare. White Van Clare? <laughs> yeah. Have you, are you familiar with this? We ask no. you questions, uh, topical questions, just okay. getting your opinion really on the, the week's news. Okay, yeah. Um, it's on the spot. If you look to that. But you know I'm a little bit, you know. A little bit simple? That's well, fine. Just a little bit, you know. What? What? I always sit on the fence. Don't oh, I? Well, don't you sit really on the fence. You see, the, the worst thing there was, she was saying I'm a little bit like, you know, uh, liberal or I was, I I decided, no, I was you went simple. <laughs> yeah. You well, assumed. I didn't, know, I didn't know. I thought I'm a little bit, what, coked up? I don't yeah. know. 
<laughs> Who knows? It's Sturgis. Anything could be possible. <laughs> but, but the other thing is with Carl, we didn't know how good value Carl was until we asked him sort of intelligent well, questions. Well, enough. Yeah. Cause he, he looks quite intelligent, Well, this he? is it. I mean, so the we thing might, with you, we Claire, I don't think we've probed you enough. We don't know what, you know, you your views are on a lot of me them. enough, actually, but we don't know what no. your views are, you know? That's yeah. what I'm saying. We yeah. don't know where you stand. I mean, don't sit on the fence. This is the, this is the new Claire Sturgis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right? We're yeah, gonna dynamic. find a personality in there, Claire. Let's go back to the old days. How about a bit of the Smiths? That was beautiful, Rick. Go on. Oh, you've been practicing for seven days. You have uh, more money than sense. Uh, I'll tell you what, have we got monkey news today? We, We've might got not, we might not get to it, mate. We are running out of time. No, we're doing it. What do you mean, we're doing it? It's- The show isn't complete without it. I'd rather drop adverts and stuff. Well, I'd rather drop adverts. No, we're doing monkey news. Do you want it? Rick, my concern is that if you put monkey news on the s on the subs bench, it's gonna be like David Beckham. Yeah. He's gonna have his eye wandering to other radio yeah, stations. Yeah, And look what- what's- look what he's doing. Yeah, he's he off to Real Madrid. He might be leaving off to Real Madrid. I might take monkey news off to radio too or something. Yeah. Right? So yeah. don't, don't um, leave the monkey uh, news I, I, on I imagine if they're listening now, they're probably gonna call you and go, Carl, were you serious about bringing monkey news to Radio 2? Cause <laughs> the, the check's open. <laughs> Well, do, you, do you want a bit now, or what? What we're doing? Well, no, I want you to tell uh, Steve about your holiday. Okay, so monkey news, please. All right, all right. Then. Let's hear the jingle. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Right <laughs> now, before, before oh, I went again, and again. Go on. Oh, chimpanzee! That monkey news. Brilliant. All right. Um. Right. Before I went away, I told you about Alfred. Um, he was the- he was the monkey where there was a, a robbery going on in a bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he nicked the robber's loot and backed out yeah. with a gun. Yeah, he sort of stole- he, he robbed the robber, didn't he? Yeah. Did he take his gun as well? He Did took he the weapons. He took all the weapons. There was like a couple of robbers. He managed- because they were so amazed that a monkey was coming in, it was like- Don't what? talk shite twice. Right. Anyway. So anyway, got a follow up to that. Okay, now what was that- that monkey's name? Um, Alfred. That was Alfred. Um, so anyway, um, because a lot of people wanted to know, well, you know, what did he do? Did he go off and have a holiday? Did he, no, no, no. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so, um, so the follow-up is, what happened is, the monkey had the guns, had the cash, which was $250,000. Sure. Right? It went back to the zoo, right? Uh, you, all right, Carl, you're talking shit. Ricky, oh. I get angry with you when you won't let oh. him finish his monkey news. Right. Can't we just get that out of your face? Imagine thing. if people were interrupting Trevor McDonald. I don't. It wouldn't happen. I don't want. I want to make sure I don't get anything wrong. No, of course not. Um, no, so, so yeah. check the internet. So uh, the monkey goes back to the zoo, right, where all the zookeepers come out and go get him. He's, he's got the guns. Yeah. He hands out a couple of guns to his mates. What? His monkey mates? His monkey mates. So they've all got a couple of guns each. Oh, Carl. Uh, Steve, I can't, mate. I cannot <laughs> Just stand it. Little Honestly, little... I want to f scream. Please, I really get annoyed with you. They tried to do him a, do him a deal. They said, how about if- uh, I'm going. Tell him that. I'm right. not going. No, I can't. Step out for a moment. Okay, we'll just do it. Look, don't listen. Step out and I'll paraphrase what, what I hear for you when you come back in. Step out. Now, please, I need to hear- I need to well, hear the end of this. Out, yeah. This is monkey news. This is important stuff. Right. Right, Ricky now has left the room. He cannot- he cannot bear to hear, which is surprising to me. Right, so anyway, um, so yeah, they've got the money, and mm. they say to the zookeepers, how about, uh, we'll give you some cash. Yes. And they go- oh. Sorry, th well, hang on, sorry, the zookeeper said that to the monkeys? Yeah. Right. No, 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 the monkeys who have got the two hundred and fifty thousand pounds- Right. Say to the zookeepers, we'll sort you some money out if you let us go. So right. the monkeys say to the zookeepers, We'll give you some money. Yeah. You don't see any problem with that? Right, listen. Okay. Let, it's nearly finished. <laughs> right, I'm listening out there. You could, this is ridiculous. You go! What do you mean the monkeys what? say? What do you mean the monkeys say to the zookeeper? They were probably holding the money out, like, kind of going, look, you know, we'll do your deal. Right, okay, come on. Um, and what happened is, I think, uh, I think that- I think they were happy with that. I think they left and that was that. They- they- they wanted to get out of the zoo because they didn't like it in there. There's the thing. Right, I-, I don't- uh, Just have a look. Right, Carl, think. Right, how did they get out in the first place, this one? Just let Steve have a- So why did he go- so he went and robbed- he thought- uh, what, he knew there was gonna be a robbery that day, did he? He might have been getting some money before they went to escape and then that happened and they had more money. They might have been withdrawing some stuff out. What do you mean? No! If he was planning on leaving the zoo, he's gonna get his savings. What are you talking about? 
What have you read there, Steve? I I've got a I've got a feeling this is a review of one of the Planet of the Apes films. <laughs> I think it's Escape from the Planet of the Apes, like, I'm not certain. It could be Beneath the Planet of the Apes. Right, what, I mean, Carl, think, think, please think, right? So this, this monkey, right, he leaves the zoo, right? He, so he leaves the zoo, which he can do, presumably, what, they leave him the keys or what? They're chatting to him, they might as well. He goes to a bank, what, what's he, what's he thinking of doing? Sees a robbery, probably by chance. He probably wasn't tipped off, was he? Or has he got one of those police scanners? Probably got one of those police scanners. Well, I think he was going to the bank to get a mortgage to uh, build a, a large, slightly. Uh, I think he wanted an extension, didn't he, on his uh, cage? Think of that. And so he th I love the fact that he hands out the guns and they do a deal. <laughs> it's uh, honestly, you've got the best. You've got the best mind working on radio today. It's incredible. So the only person who makes less sense is Terry Wogan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I it goes up and down, I doesn't don't know it? What he's I about. can't understand his sentences because I don't know. No. It's like freeform poetry. Yes, yeah, so I don't know whether it's the end of a sentence in the middle. Sure Should I a new one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's it, have the jingle again—a record—and then we'll uh, probably have to wrap up the show. I imagine. That was oh, chimpanzee, that monkey news. Smiths, Sanctuary Gates. It's a lovely tune, mm. lovely song. There's one bit that worries me about it. It's sort of like a. A, like a teacher warning. He goes, you must contrive, uh, prose and poems and the words you use should be your own. Don't plagiarise or take on loan. It's sort of like, what are you telling us now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, sort of like yeah. a lot of people are going, thanks, Morris. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So actually, yeah, that's not mine. That's Wordsworth. Right, I'm gonna write my own. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Queen then, is Dead, though, one of the great, great I album think titles. It's not my favourite album. I, I, it was voted best album But of the all Smiths, time, what I love about Smiths, they just seem to get, like, the Smiths is that's, just a that's done, brilliant yeah. name. Yeah. Don't you think it just captures everything about yeah. them? Yeah. You know. We've got a thing about bad. Bad, um, yeah. Well, I was watching, I was watching, uh, VH1 Classic Smooth <laughs> last night. <laughs> and, uh, I love it. Absolutely Sade. Joy. Sade always on. You yeah, can always yeah, get yeah, a love yeah, of yeah. Sade. But, um, <laughs> Foreigner were on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've been uh, yeah. Okay. And, uh, well, I don't know which, I can't remember which tune it was, but, uh, the album I noticed it came from, classy album title, Agent Provocateur. Oh. As, mm. oh, it makes my skin crawl. But I also, from the I, album Agent Provocateur. I, I imagine a, there's a, a band called Agent Provocateur, um, and they're from Wigan. It's a, it's a girl singer, she's 35 yeah. in a tight dress. <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah. four blokes with ponytails. Yeah, exactly, yeah, 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 yeah. Doing covers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Here's what yeah, you remember. They, they, they play a wedding, they go, we're not doing a wedding again. There was people, there was, there was cake yeah. being trodden in. There was exactly. kids. Children yeah. were just sliding across the yeah. parquet floor. Yeah, they weren't yeah. listening to the music. But we, yeah. Well, we've got a gig at the marquee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, endless guest list, five quid in. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Provocateur, if your band's Argent Provocateur, or Agent oh, yeah. Provocateur. Have you ever been in a band? Yeah. Called Argent Provocateur, yeah. But, uh, but that's gotta be one of them. Cos it's not, I don't know what that title says, I don't imagine Foreigner. I've got that sense of intrigue and- Well, one of my, right, one of the worst names, but right, okay. To <laughs> pound. Right, it's Who? the worst, it's, um, uh, yeah, let's start. Worst album titles, okay? I'll, I'll kick off with Tapal. Bridge of Spies. <laughs> oh, Bridge of Spies. Is that the one that featured China in your hand? I assume so. I don't think I did too many. Um, Bridge okay. of Spies. Who did Bridge this of album? Spies. Who did this album? Um, Beggar on a Beach of Gold. <laughs> Beggar on a Beach of Gold. It's got the likes of Collins written all over it, but I know it's, it's got very Collins. close. Mechanics. Mike and the Mechanics, yeah. of course. I don't know what that means. Good old Mike He's a the... beggar on the beach of gold. Just look around, there's yeah. some money. <laughs> yeah, he's saying, mean, he's saying, don't be a tramp, there's, there's some money it's there, mate. Money. I don't know what it means. I think he means that everyone else is rich, but he's still poor. Yeah. 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 I actually, I yeah. like it. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. a bit deep for me, Steve. Maybe like. you just need a little asterisk at the corner <laughs> and then a little explanation <laughs> at the bottom of the record card. I'm thinking about this, I'm not quite sure what it means. Oh! <laughs> he's very nice poor one. emotionally. Um, yeah. Chumba Wumba. Well, you know, what, what can I- Uneasy listening. Yes! <laughs> I bet it was from the Chumbas. Uh, Are they still cracking on? Are they- cause they, did, they used so. to live in a squat. They've they? done about, um, 400 albums, them and the Levelers. Mm. Yeah. Who's the best? Chumba one brought the Levelers. So, good question, thanks for asking that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. What's the- what's the telephone number, Claire? <laughs> it's, uh, 08700 Or you can email ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Worst album titles ever. It's like real way, yeah. It's just it? like Chris Moyles. It is, isn't it? Exactly. Oh. We've got the big fat guys on the telly. <laughs> yeah. In here. <laughs> you know. And Am I uh, his well? kind of cheeky sidekick. Am I- uh, Comedy Dave. You're almost as funny as Moyles. <laughs> Finger <laughs> crossed one day. 
<laughs> right, Stur, did you bought any record, haven't you? What are you gonna play? Well, What's no, this one about? Wanna, do you know what, like, a, a bootleg is, Ricky? Oh, what yeah. are you talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah, I've yeah. set a lot of them up on white label. Yeah, yeah, yeah go yeah, on. Okay. Well, no, this is quite a good one that Ian Baker bought in the other day. Sure. It's, uh, it's a bit of Dre, a bit of Snoop Dogg, oh, yeah. mixed in with Crowded House. I thought you'd love it. Oh, right. Intrigued. The juxtaposition there is exciting in itself. <laughs> That's true enough. Play it. Anyway, Rockbusters, Carl. Go yeah. on, should we get the ball rolling? Let me just find the, uh, yeah, the gifts yeah, here, yeah, the yeah. little treats. We've got the album from The Coral, you know what I think about that. We've got, uh, what? Comfort in Sound Feeder. Well, it's just a novelty record, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so. we've got, uh, on DVD, more great comedy moments, favourite clips from the best of contemporary BBC comedy. We've got Partridge on the front there, we've got, uh, one of the guys from Red Dwarf, and, uh, Brilliant. one of those <laughs> good stuff on there. Smash Hits, The Reunion, more great 80s tunes, Catch a Goo Goo's on there, uh, plus some stuff- Too Shy? <laughs> it is too shy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, let me see if you can guess which one's from on. Tiffany. Uh, well, yeah, I know it, the only one. I uh, think I'm, we're alone now. Yeah, I think we're alone, yeah. Um, Mel and Kim? Uh, Respectable? Mm hmm. Human League? That'd be. Oh, wow, what would, it be, would they have got, don't you want me? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Ta Lies, take on me? Yep, yeah. well done. Um, Madness? Baggy trousers. Of course. Uh, Kim Wilde? Kids in America? Yeah, so it's just all those treats. If you if, yeah. you, if you like a song from an 80s band, it's probably on there. Yeah, okay. Plus we've also got on uh, VHS, uh, Graham Norton, some kind of best of compilation from his TV show. So, uh, there are the, um... Hold on, is it, is it the one where he talks to sort of female gay icons and, and looks at the internet? Because <laughs> that's my favourite one. Um, right, there you go, let's do Rockbusters. Right, email then. only, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk if you know the answer. Right, first one. A uh, bit of a cryptic clue, if you haven't heard it before. Well, not cryptic, we've gone. <laughs> um, what, what is Carl thinking? If you go into France by boat, I'd get your fags on there, because it's a lot cheaper. Imagine <laughs> 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 <That's> Bob Holness. <laughs> sorry, you, we're out of time. I, uh, sorry, your minute's up, you've won nothing. I was reading that question out. <laughs> sorry, right. so what's the... Right, let's do it again, I want it to be exactly the same, word perfect. I bet you it will change... Uh, all over the place. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's lost it. Go into right. France, buy yourself a boat. Yeah. Fags are okay. Cheaper. Okay. Okay. Fingers on the buzzers. Um, you've only got ten seconds to win the uh, the gold run. Okay. First up. Yeah. I'll tell you what. No. Seriously. If you're thinking of going to France, well, don't. You know, because go on the ferry, get the fags there, because it's cheaper. Go on. All right. So that one again. Uh, if you want to buy some fags, you're going over to France on the boat. Get them on there, because you'll save a few quid. B F. B F. B F. Okay. Okay. Right, the second one. Um, mm. this little, uh, <laughs> foreign cafe is growing its own steak. <laughs> <laughs> this little foreign cafe is growing its own steak. Yeah. <laughs> this little foreign cafe is growing its own steak. Go on. D. Alright. Right. Okay. And the last one, uh, uh <laughs> Is uh, that part of it? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best. The Jamaican fella might have screamed oh. this on the uh, right. on the Titanic. Well, <laughs> the Jamaican fella might have scre might have screamed this on the Titanic. Yeah. Uh, uh, wh what's it start with? It's uh, C D. That one. <laughs> the Jamaican fella might have screamed this on the Titanic. Ricky Dot Gervais at XFM .co well, we'll get Rockbusters out of the way. Have we got a winner? Uh, yeah, well, come on in. Mm, See, it worries really. me that there's, we've had uh, very few entries. I think that even your Mental fans aren't getting these, which is really worrying. They must be terrible clues this week. All right, well, uh... Has anyone got on right, Steve? I think there's just one guy, yeah, who I suspect has won in the past. Well, there that's so what? Right, the first one, uh, if you go out of France by boat, uh, you might as well buy your fa fags when you're on that, cos you'll get them a lot cheaper. Brilliant. Right? Yeah. Um, BF. Yeah. Buy it ferry. Right, that's like... What? <laughs> Buy on ferry. What? Buy on ferry. What's buy on, buy on ferry? ferry? Who's, what, what's that? Is that a band? What? What is it? I don't no, know what Bri it is. Brian Ferry. Brian Ferry? What's that got to do with buying on a ferry, though? Just because it's quite close to it. Buy on. <laughs> buy on ferry. Buy what? On, buy on. Buy on ferry. Sorry, uh, uh, t t t what, what's first your first one. language? Uh, the second one. That's rubbish. That doesn't count. No, Brian, no. buy on ferry. <laughs> Brian Ferry, buy on ferry. Um, <laughs> there's this little foreign cafe, um, yeah. it's growing its own steak, um, that's, that's Delamitri. Uh, the third one- What? Was, <laughs> sorry, what? What? 
What is that? What is that? Delimitri. Deli is a yeah. little foreign cafe. Yeah. A meat tree and that. <laughs> a meat tree? <laughs> a meat tree? <laughs> what were the initials for that? Just, just D for that. Just D for that? Yeah. So not D-A? So you didn't even give them a chance to get the group? Well, they, they got it. Well, no. No, 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 no. They, they, they didn't. Right, it's the end. <laughs> right, go on, right. Go on. Deli meat tree. Deli meat tree. <laughs> One word. D. 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 Or any letter. They're M. Their own M. Meat. M's in it. Mm. Go on. Okay, so Bayern, Bayern, I love Bayern Ferry. <laughs> and Ox Oxy Music, Oxy Music was brilliant. <laughs> can I, just I love Oxy Music. Go on. Can I just point out, Rick, that, um, we've Dave, had... David Bowie? Deli Meat Tree. Yeah. I don't see why, necessarily, uh, Aidan, who, uh, emailed in, why he doesn't get to win, because he emailed in Dire Steaks. <laughs> Seems to be just as valid, as far as I can tell, but <laughs> yeah. Deli Mitri it is. Um, and the last one, uh, if there was a Jamaican fella on the Titanic- I'm looking forward to this. this. It, with a little bit of fear. Jamaican fella, if he was on the Titanic, he probably would have screamed this. Yeah. Uh, that's Christ de Berg. <laughs> Stunning. So who's who's the winner? I'm not going to give it to anyone. I just what's don't. So think... what what's the Jamaican bit got to do with it? It's the D. It's Christ de Berg. <laughs> say it again. No, I think they, they've worked it out now. What's what do I say again? Christ de Berg. And who's that? What? Who's that? Who's what? Who's Christ de Berg? Chris de Berg. Who's the winner, Steve? I'm, do you know what? I'm going to give it to so, Ames. Because he just, he just treated you with nothing but contempt. Steve Martin, uh, uh, emailed in again. He got the first two and then the last one he just emailed, I neither know nor care about this answer. I'm tempted to give him, he's you, one of the Do you know what you've done there, don't you? Go on. You've put the nail in the coffin of, uh, Rockbusters. I warned you, I warned you for three weeks and you sort of bucked your ideas up for a little while. But Christ did Those Berg, are the worst you've ever done. Uh, the worst of um, Delimitri, so, uh, and didn't, just put D. And then buy and f buy and ferry, buy and buy and ferry, buy uh, uh, buy and ferry. So, DVD. The weather episode at Snoop Dogg, Dr. Drake, Crowdhouse. I love that. Enjoyable. That yeah. works for me, see? Yeah, what do you think? Tough. No, it was nice. Well, she like started it. off all right. We'll give, should we give her one more go? I like a round of applause for Claire. Yeah, that, that's connected. brilliant. No, that's excellent, that. I love that. Rick, the, yeah, the phone. Oh, it's just gone. It's the gone. Phone, <laughs> no, I tell you, the phone board had lit up there, Jerry. Really? Really? There was a call a buzzing call. through on call. A call one. came through. A call came through on line one, yeah. and Sturgis missed it. Carl would never have missed oh. that. He knows how valuable they are. I'm sorry. That was probably someone with an amusing album title. No, I did get one, Steve. I didn't get one. Do you want to hear it? Go yeah, go on. Um, okay. Uh, this is from Al, who yeah. says that, uh, what about this? H to H E, who am the only one. Sorry, H to H E. H E. Who am the only one. I don't know what it means. No. Van de Graaff generator. Oh, well, no wonder. That's the thing that you, one of those things at the museum that you wind up and you touch and it makes your hair stand on end. Yeah. That's the scientific thing, in it? Sure. I've given up, Steve. Yeah, no, you know, I that didn't really I make noticed. me laugh. I I'll be so. honest. I'm thinking that the whole kind of amusing album title thing we should abandon. I, I, I thought that. I, as I, I thought said it. it. Be honest with you, I thought it was easier than this. I mean, Chris Moles makes it work. That kind of crazy comedy okay, uh, uh, radio magic. It. But obviously, it's, it, we, and I don't think our listeners are into that stuff. Uh, okay. I just don't think they can be bothered to get to the phone. I don't think a lot of them are able. I think a lot of them are, you know. Do you <laughs> remember when? Do you remember when we spent about three hours trying to get to the Chris, through to the Chris Moyle show? I vaguely, yeah. What was the what was? It the was doing this um, competition, <laughs> and it was um, it was uh, titles, song titles with golf about golf. Like so, we go like drive the cars and yeah. that. And and I was phone up, I was getting so excited. I went to phone up and go, ah, Duran Duran, golfy golfy golf golf. <laughs> and I just yeah. and I just thought and, and I, it might have been less than, oh god, yeah. it we probably cost me about ages. thirty quid just yeah. to ruin Chris Miles' competition. Yeah, uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, that was before the days. We, when we realised, you know, he was a great talent and one to watch. Yeah, before we'd enjoyed his new TV show. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah, uh, that's not. No, that's cheap. It's, cheap. it's cheap. It's yeah. cheap. Anyway, um, what should we talk about now then? Because that was that. That all went well. <laughs> No, I mean, that's 20 minutes, that's 20 minutes done, Fantastic. and we've nailed, we've nailed amusing album titles, we've, um, we've done that, that's fine, so oh, we, we need uh, a new I, gimmick now. I'll tell you what, 
you know, you know, <laughs> no, you got no, something, you got something, wait, 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 wait. you know, you know when you go comes. out, you take an umbrella you out, leave the right? house, you got right, you go umbrella out, right, yeah. and it's a really sunny day, yeah. and then you come out and you go, oh, I wish I'd bothered with that because yeah. it's in the way. But then, right, imagine when you go out, right, and it's it, raining, it's raining. No. No. You go out without an umbrella. <laughs> okay. And then it rains. <laughs> oh, what's, no. what's going on there? Oh, no. Isn't that weird, isn't it? We've so all been there, we've all been there. So, if you've got like funny, weird observations of things that happen, like that. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that about umbrellas or any kind of sort of accessory or hat. What's in the umbrella again, Claire? This is going to be Brilliant. It's, it's, it's going to be great. Take this one. Take this one. 08 700 800 1234. Just comedy observations. Yeah, and things stuff you thought of. Wacky stuff you thought <laughs> of. Just tell us what <laughs> kind of stuff you come up with. Get the Sony people on the phone. This is dynamite. There was some, uh, some other news, uh, whilst we're doing the knob news. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just cram this one in. Um, there was some story on some news website about some lad who, uh, wasn't happy with what, what, what he'd been given. Right. What do you mean? He had a- he had an op? No, no, uh, no, he wanted to have an op. He wasn't um, happy with what God had given him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the lo- what the Lord had popped downstairs <laughs> for him. <laughs> sure. And, uh... Sorry, no, wait a minute, was he a bloke who wanted it? Yeah, a fella, yeah, a fella. And he what he wanted a- he, wa- he didn't want a knob, or he wanted a bigger knob? He wanted a bigger one. Right, okay. And, okay. uh, cost five grand. Right. Um, and they made a mess of it. Well, what do they, how, how do they make a mess of it? Don't know, it, c- it came out d- smaller than they went in with. Well, no, what do you mean? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know all the ins and outs. Oh, God. It's just well, like he, borrowed, a, he borrowed the money off his mum. There's been a slight mix up. He <laughs> borrowed the money off his mum? I love that. <laughs> How bad is that? What do you want for your birthday, son? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Thanks, Mum, for asking. A couple of bits of news as well. Hello, Doctor. How did it go? Um, well, well, firstly, don't look under the managers and don't have the goulash for lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was smaller than you went Mom, in Mum, you got five grand. Why? Just gonna fucking up. <laughs> Tell me what it's for. <laughs> you can have it if you tell me what it's for. Well, look at that. Oh, you need a bigger one. Yeah, definitely. There's the money. <laughs> yeah. On you go. Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> what did he say to the doctor then? That's rubbish. I didn't read all the ins and outs. I just, like I said, I saw just it. Just look for the picture. <laughs> they, they want that picture. <laughs> <laughs> but you just thought, uh, well, thanks for it. You just thought you'd pop that one in. Thanks. Yeah, that's the, that's the end. Uh, yeah. Knob News Extra. Yeah. Play record, Carl. Right. So if you've got any Knob News, um, we've got one more show left. Send that to ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and we'll hopefully get that Knob News on air next week. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Some Dizzy Rascal. Oh, Dizzy Rascal, yeah. He's one of the hot new English rappers. Let's play it. Well, uh, do you want to do some, uh, give some stuff away? <laughs> uh, I suppose so, Carl. We could, yeah. Yeah, set it up, set what it up. What What is it? What, what, which of your many competitions is this? Uh, songs of phrase. Talking oh. of competitions, I remember last week, a big argument that, um, Carl kicked Steve off the team because he was getting a little bit uppity and trying to take it this over. Pub quiz, isn't it? Pub quiz, yeah. But then, uh, you let him back in, didn't you? Well, he was all right. He came to me afterwards and said, yeah. you know, <laughs> you're not going to kick me off, are you? Yeah. I said, well, yeah. He, he came back sort of, I suppose, begging. He sort of, was it embarrassing or...? Well, no, it's just, you know, mm. he, he, he learned his lesson. He realises he overset the mark, like you have this week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We've all learnt a lesson. <laughs> yeah, we've all learnt a lesson. But I won the quiz, didn't I, and you didn't. Well, that doesn't matter. The no, thing is, we but I won well. all the money, didn't I? Please bear in mind he's taking part of the counts, Rick. Yeah, sure. I wasn't winding you up in the quiz, though, was I? And your, all your team was older. Yeah. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, you've more. got a collective age your team of about three hundred. No, one one of them was only asked, one of them was actually five, but she just <laughs> she just aged a lot. I think when I took the eleven plus, we were all around the same age. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Right. Your team was a lot older. What was mm. our average age? Would you say average age probably um, thirty? Right. Yours at least forty-one. No. Definitely. No. Definitely. Only two of us were forty, and one and three were about thirty. No rubbish. Yeah. Who's thirty? Martin. Glenn, oh, Glenn's, Glenn's about Glenn's, 36, yeah. Uh, yeah. About 30, but... It all helps, doesn't it? And yeah, you, Alps, 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 Alps. And you've all got... Annals under 30, and Annals under 30. And you've got a better general knowledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were cheating. Uh, yeah. We knew more. You just knew more stuff. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. not allowed, is Pro- it? Proper quiz time, anyway. But I wasn't winding you up, though, when I won. I wasn't gloating or anything, was I? No, not <laughs> at all, when you kept sort of counting it in front of me and... <laughs> <laughs> like he hasn't got enough cash already, Carl. <laughs> how much was it? How much, uh, how much was the prize? I, I, I can't say. It'd be gauche. Right. Is that tax free, that money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a competition, it's a, uh, prize, isn't it? Is that true, though? Is that how it works? I think so. Prize money, isn't it? I don't know. 
Well, right. Otherwise, oh. I, otherwise, I assume you'll be declaring that. Yeah, will yeah. Yeah, you'll be paying right. tax on that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know where people. I mean, the taxman could contact you via XFM at any yeah, time just to check sure. that if you wanted to. Sure. Sure. Um, okay, prizes to give away this week. You've uh, excelled yourself again. We've got once again Scotland Rocks, the very best of Scottish music, Texas Deacon Blue, Brilliant. and uh, Jerry Rafferty. Proclaimers on there or not? <laughs> Proclaimers there, don't worry. Delimitri's well, like... on there as well, don't worry. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, don't worry. it's oh, based on there, it's based on there. I'm just checking to see if Midgeur and Hugh and Gry feature, but they do, thankfully. I don't know. Uh, the Rizillos as well. Oh, and Gun. brilliant, brilliant! That That's is brilliant. great. So look forward to is that. Is Lulu on there or not? Oh, is she not on there? I can't see her. Actually, she's not on there. But uh, the wet, are the wet on there? All the wets or not? Uh, Fairground attraction. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. That's on there. So uh, is we Hootie McTooth <laughs> on there? And is uh, is uh, Jamboree? <laughs> uh, what's this? This is another arbitrary compilation uh, called brilliant. Strange and Beautiful. The Exodus album, which is quite good. Yeah. The new album by the White Stripes. Uh, the DVD Walking with Cavemen, that TV show that's on on VHS. Uh, uh, it's, it's still got the price on there, on VHS, in case you haven't seen it, uh, Fight Club, and the best-selling book from Michael Moore, Stupid White Men. So, actually, some quite good prizes there, Carl. Not bad Alright, Carl, what's this, what's this competition? Right, song's a phrase. It's where I, uh, get a line that sort of is said a lot on the show, or has been said quite a lot on the show. Yeah. Is uh, this one, Stop Squeezing Me Head? No. Mm. Oh, I could've done that. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, but what we're doing is, um, my fav- uh, The Elephant Man's my favourite film. Is that the phrase? Yeah, that's the phrase that we're looking at today. The Elephant Man's my favourite film. It is as well. It's yeah. his favourite film. I know, I know. Why yeah. is that again? See, because it's funny and sad, and it, it's uh, you know exactly what you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> they promise you an Elephant Man, that's exactly what you get. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Have you seen it, Steve? I have seen it, It yeah. is good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you remember at the beginning of The Elephant Man? Think of that! Having the, that as your favourite film, I of mean, all the hundreds of amazing films. I mean, yeah. uh, the, uh, I mean, I mean, just it's a good film and it's yeah. a moving film. Yeah, but I can't imagine it's a film I would watch endlessly again I don't and again. Care about a bloke with a no, elephant I'll head? Watch a Do you know? bit of it again huh? the other night? It's one of them that you know just sort of reminds you. You know what annoys me when he goes, yeah. "I am not an animal." Hmm. He is. Well, <laughs> I mean, he speaks like one. <laughs> and what does and help? He's got, got and he looks like one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was a bit unfair because they never let him look in a mirror because he's a bit odd looking and it upset him. Yeah. So his hair was always a mess. Yeah. <laughs> and that yeah. made him look worse than he actually was. Yeah, 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 yeah. But good film, get it out if you haven't seen it. That's the phrase today. Do you uh, know, um, my, uh, I remember my friend introduced me to that film and if you remember at the beginning there's a big montage because he is, uh, working in a, in a zoo, isn't he? Or he's yeah. being kept in a zoo. And there's a sequence of, uh, of various, of elephants, I think, actual elephants kind of rampaging and it's just quite a sort of moody, mm. atmospheric montage. Is he king of the elephants? Could well, he my friend, my friend said to me when we watched this, he said, what happens is he gets trampled on by some elephants and that's what makes him look like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, right, and I watched it and I thought, that's not the case, and I tried to explain it to him, and he's, to this day, still convinced that the Elephant Man, it's like a, it's like when Spider-Man gets bitten, bitten by a spider. Yeah, yeah. It was his man, wasn't the it? The Elephant Man. <laughs> the power of an elephant. <laughs> well, his, was it his mum who got- He never forgets. Anyway. Be careful. Is it, his mum what? Wasn't it his mum who was pregnant and then they ran over her and- No, I don't think so. That's the impression I got from it. No. You are joking, aren't you? <laughs> no. I thought, I, I honestly, th anyway, right, so the phrase is, my favourite film's The Elephant Man. Oh, well, why yeah. Uh, these five songs make up that, that sentence. Yep. Yeah. Right, this week. Have a listen, see if you can work out the songs. Email in, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, right? Mm. And you win all that stuff, mm. that Steve just said, so, uh, mm. right, here we go then. The Elephant Man <laughs> <laughs> that was mostly done. Genius. Right. Let's hear it again. Yes. The elephant man is my favourite <laughs> Five songs there, The it's Elephant not, Man not is so hard, my favourite film. Well, I thought we'd make it a bit easier. Make it a bit easier, yeah. yeah. Just, right. just one more. The elephant man Uh, email only <laughs> ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Brilliant. <laughs> a bit of a uh, hip-hop hooray, a bit of a rap classic. <laughs> Although you may not have heard it before. Good to see those boys still rocking. That's ACDC. Shook me all night long. And it's a film on a 4.9. I'm Ricky Jays with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Have we got the results of the uh, quiz, Carl? Or? 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll just play it one more time. It was Songs of Phrase. Is this <laughs> the last time we're doing this? Oh, I thought so. I thought it worked better this week because it was actually doable. Yeah. I think that makes a difference, Carl. We haven't done Carl's an idiot, yeah? Carl, you're an idiot, have we? Oh, well, that's a reason to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can end with that one right. <laughs> when you come yeah. back. Right. right, well, the five songs that made up this little thing here was Mysteries, Beautiful Blues, Eels, Innocent Man, Billy Joel, In My Favourite Waste of Time, Owen, Owen Paul, Boom Rhapsody, Queen, mm -hmm. Girls on Film, Duran Duran, it sounded like this. <laughs> The Elephant Man is my favourite film. Hang on, was Bohemian Rhapsody in there? Yeah, yeah. it is. It that is was. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, well, we're gonna give that to, uh, Piley. He just calls himself Piley. Ian Pyle. Uh, good work, Piley. What's happened to Anders? Well, I, I was just gonna say, actually, we've not had correspondence from Richard Dicky Anders for some time. The Dickmeister, Dickmeister yeah. General, with his, his naughty, naughty, insulting ways. Yeah, Anderson used to email regularly. Anders! Get on your computer! Get in touch, mate. What just do you think of, it? think of the show? Uh, hold on, though. To be fair, um, he was listening w when we were pretty shoddy. Yeah, if he's listened to the last three weeks, I think we're owed a little apology from you, Dickster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, listen, Piley, um, we want to send you all those goodies, including Scottish rock, um, but, uh, we don't have your uh, address, so, uh, email in your address and we can send it off to you. All right? Yeah. More adverts? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Now, I think we can play pink, you know? Well? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to be responsible for it. No? I mean, I don't- I don't have a problem particularly with the lady. You know, she's made, uh, a good effort <laughs> with it. And I think, but apparently, it's- it's either number one or it's gonna- it's likely to be number one really? this, uh, this week, so, so um, it's not that rebellious, me It's not particularly this, it? rebellious. No! But, um, I don't know. I mean, what worries me is, uh, that whether the audience will turn against you and that you'll lose all musical credibility. <laughs> I thought that's the, that's the, no, I did have any. Very little. Really? I, um, had a, an email just now and I think maybe this answers why we didn't get very many calls about the, uh, give us a crazy band name or an, an album title. Think about the number? They, no, 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 they think maybe they're all at the, uh, the march, the big march. <laughs> Which <laughs> I makes a lot of sense because I would, I would imagine a lot of the sort of losers that listen to our show What's the march probably about? also agree that, uh, they should go and protest about a war. Oh, it's the oh, anti-war anti march, anti -war yeah. Part. It's the gates to war. <laughs> so, um, well, I don't really know the ins and outs of this, this whole thing, really. Uh, I mean, it sounds yeah. like it's a long way away. I, I, I suppose it's a long way away. Yeah. They, they were asked if they wanted a war, and they said no. Is yeah. that so bad, Steve? Yeah. Do that no, I, I mean, good luck to them. I, I don't think he's gonna have much effect, to be honest. <laughs> You don't think- No, I don't really believe in all that. I, I don't think he's worried in the light- in the slightest. A couple no. of sort of dropouts and some sort of junkies are in the streets, you know. Well, you- you- and you say that, you ladies. say that, but what- what's their names? Um, specials, Free Nelson Mandela. Eight years later he was out. <laughs> That's true enough. So- <laughs> That's absolute- I forgot I, about that. I think they were- and yeah. Well, and- and, and uh, Live Aid sorting out world <laughs> hunger. Yeah, that, that, that was that. Man, so that was- Uh- but I um, see the difference there is Ebony and Ivory, no more racism <laughs> now. <laughs> but musicians- That was done. Rick, you see musicians were involved there. Yeah. I don't think any musicians are involved this time. I think- well, I think David Albarn's there, they but- pro They've probably taken their- their bongos and their digitally The tablers. You, you can see they're walking down now, loads of ponchos. Yeah. You were gonna wear a poncho once, you thought it'd make you more of a hit with the ladies, well, weren't you? Oh, but they're so yeah. now, ponchos. They are, in top really. shop, they are so now. So you'd have been ahead of your time, oh, as ever, as ever. You see, I think if you wait a couple of years, those clogs are being. Exactly. This is what I'm hoping. You just- What about this pipe? I like to think they're gonna- they're, the pipe- the pipe is definitely on the way back at some point. The yeah, the pipe back. What do you think of a lady- uh, uh, sorry, as a lady, what do you think of a man who smokes a pipe? I think it's lovely. Do you think it's quite yeah, sexy? Very sexy, yeah. I think it's quite I wouldn't want to snog It takes your breath away- what? Cos I've given up smoking, Steve. Yeah, it takes- it takes- well, I, <laughs> I won't be giving you a blowback. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that phrase is, Rick. I- I, I gambled with that phrase. <laughs> I don't know if a blowback- I don't- that could be obscene. <laughs> I've got no idea what a no, blowback is. No, I think is. it is very- very sexy <laughs> in a sort of a Val Dunican kind of way. He never smoked a pipe. Not Did right he not? No, he smoked yeah. a goat. Oh, right. Well, he's talking about smoking a goat. But what about worries me there, what, you know, if you look at pictures of the great sort of thinkers of our time, you know, maybe at, their, at college or university in the sort of 1930s, mm. you've got those great, you know, the great thing of people who became the great artists of our century, yeah. and you see pictures of them in Oxbridge when they're in 19, they're all smoking pipes in tweed suits. Yeah. No young people now are smoking pipes. I fear that it's gonna be dead in like 15 years. I don't think anyone's gonna be smoking pipes. But I think again you I are I feel like maybe it's maybe a certain profile. Yeah. Maybe I've got yeah. to try and bring it back. Bring it back. I you think know, so. And then we could be seeing kids in top shop on a Saturday. Yeah, and let's not forget sniffing Snuff. <laughs> Some snuff. I, I, my nan yeah. used to sit there with two brown stains just dribbling from her nose. Lovely. Sit, sit, yeah, oh. and that bit of snuff and some gin. Well, this uh, is it. I, I, cause my friend always said if he won, um, millions of pounds, he'd spend it all trying to bring back as a fashion accessory the cape. 
<laughs> the cane. Because <laughs> I think See, the cane. Because like you cane, can make such it? an entrance with the cape. And the cane. A cape and a cane, yeah, the top hat. I wish people had to wear hats now. I'd See, I, 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 I can I carry it up because my shape and size. I look like Bertie Bassett. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> you'd look, you'd look Basil Rathbone. I'd, well, I'd look you'd, pretty good at all sorts of you'd Christopher Lee. Yeah. 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 Wow. You but wouldn't. I can I sweep into a room? You I know. know bellow yeah, see, I think you look like. Don't, don't get this wrong. Don't take this wrong. Like <laughs> we're mates. I think you look like a freak with a cape on. <laughs> okay. So all right. Well. And at which point would you take it one <laughs> step further and add the deer stalker? You know, and go the whole Sherlock Holmes. So like, yeah, I'd have the cape, the pipe, the deer stalker, yeah. and I'd solve crimes. <laughs> It'd be great. It looked like uh, as <laughs> some sort you of could be my fat companion. <laughs> I could be. What I'd sort of like get padding and stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I like that. Yeah. 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 I'd yeah. like to solve- I'd like to solve more crimes, if I'm being truthful. I'd like to- I would love I, to know, solve I, crimes. Just to solve one crime would be oh, great. Oh, I wouldn't- I wouldn't matter if I solved it. If I- please came to me and said, I went, I'd just look at the first one I go in. Yeah. Just get it off the streets, you know what I mean? Just like, tick, done that. Sure. Yeah. But you I know. just thought there'd be something- I, th I feel like maybe I- cause you know like in- in TV shows, it always used to be, you know, they were a- like, they were a doctor who also solved crimes, they were a plumber, they solved crimes. Quincy. Quincy, Quincy you know, oh, yeah. yeah. But, you know, a couple of sort of BAFTA winning writers- What did Heart to Heart do? Also solved crimes. That's good. That'd be good, would That'd be great. What did Heart to Heart do? They were just millionaires, They were just a couple, a millionaire couple who would invariably sort- you know, uh, uh, what would be- Murder They, she they wrote, did that every novelist. week though, was every she? week Heart to Heart. Murder She Wrote. She wrote it and she solved it. She always solved it. It's brilliant. Murder She Did wouldn't have been such a good sort of no, thing. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but this is why you don't seem to get that anymore. You know, people who uh, do one job for a living. You know, DJ who also solves crimes. A Wasn't a t well, the DJ who solves crimes? That was um, shoestring. Was he a DJ? Yeah. He was. He was Eddie a private ear, was 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 wasn't he? He was a, a private ear on the radio. radio. Is that what that was? That the thing yeah. they did? Not private eye, private ear. Is that what they yeah. said? Yeah. And how did he solve it? He worked out clues yeah. for call-ins and stuff. Yeah. No, he used to leave the building. <laughs> 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 but he didn't just sit there and play records and then try and guess. <laughs> That's uh, great! <laughs> give us a call on the usual number <laughs> if you've got any idea uh, who murdered. Uh, uh now it's snitch hour. That yeah. a letter here. Who well, reckons I she knows? Used, I know a lot of my friends are, uh, big fans of Midnight Caller. Well, do you remember oh, Midnight Caller? Yeah, was yeah, he a DJ just, who uh, solved crimes? Yeah, it was one of those late night things in America, wasn't it? But did, was he a DJ? He solved crimes, didn't he? I don't know if he'd solved crimes or just solved- If you've ever solved a crime, email solved us. Solved puzzles. <laughs> he, had, he had one of those puzzler books. Weren't you on the front cover of Puzzler once? One of those things you get, weren't mm. you? Puzzler. Were you? Was I? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, it was your other friend, a friend of mine, DJ, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, a, yeah, it was, it was yeah. Puzzler magazine. That's it, yeah. So was, was Puzzler a rude thing? No, no, it was one of those things that you Those do, puzzle books you can you, buy. You, you, oh, actually, it's a Puzzler. You do for oh, coach journeys. And they just put- They just put- It was pitched on without permission. Yeah. I don't know if they're just like, well, I didn't get permission. They just, they just find like, um, like celebrities and they just get their picture and they stick them on the well, front. Well, they wouldn't have used me then, would they? Well, I forgot. I didn't, I didn't. Hey, pink. Should we play pink? Yeah. Oh man. I don't live by the rules. See it on your head. Here we go. Rick, it's that time again. It's what the whole world is waiting for now. Is it monkey week. news? It is monkey news. Please perform live the jingle. Why'd you say that? Well, we've got a few people saying, oh, is that a pre recorded jingle? <laughs> yeah. Like anything's pre recorded. No, it's different. Every oh, we've got week. that technology. I'll give it I'll give it a big one, shall give I? Give it. Oh chimpanzee that monkey news, you <laughs> There we go. Right then, well, uh, got an email from John. Um, you know, if you've got any monkey news going on in your area. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let us know, podcast at Oh, God, amazing! Just bong it on email. And, uh, this one's sent in from John. Don't know where he is. But, um, do you know, like, they're running out of TV ideas and that? They're running out of TV ideas? Well, you know, they've, they? they've done a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. if, if, if you were had to come up with a TV idea now, you struggle, don't you? Because every idea you come up with, it's kind of been done, on it? Sure. Okay. Right? It's like inventions and that. <laughs> right, They're not so getting monkeys to come up with TV ideas, are they? Well, no, right? But there's a, there's a TV channel in, uh, in Moscow, mm. right? And I think they had a bit of bad luck or something, a lot of redundancies and that, right? And whoever was in charge of it got a bit mental and got rid of loads of people, right? Yeah. And uh, they come in the next day, and they were like, right, are we ready to go live and that? And someone comes running in with a clipboard saying, <laughs> we, we haven't got any people left, right, to present. That's such like nonsense. Right, but I'll tell you what, right, okay, carry on, carry on. So, so he goes, what? If just one employee <laughs> turns out to be Simeon and is doing a good job, I'm never doing this radio show again. So this TV channel, you know, he's it's having a lot of problems and that. He, they've got to go live, right? He's like, what am I going to do? 
Anyway, for some reason, right, there was a chimp knocking about. <laughs> For some reason, that's the key piece of information. No, boy, but we didn't it, get it. We didn't get it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Imagine that was in a film. And they're going, well, I can't see where this plot goes. Well, he's just there. He's so, just there. So anyway, it's so he sort of says, get, get it in a suit, right? Why? So, <laughs> because they're running out of ideas. The clock's ticking. They've got to go live with something. What do you mean? What, what he's presenting? He's presenting. Well, he's listen, presenting. Listen, it's a chat show. <laughs> I'm not... They can't Again, talk! Don't have a go at me, have a go at John, who sent this in. Right, and, and be this quiet, is... let's hear it, let's hear it again. So anyway, so like I say, so, the, going live, five, four, three, two, one, what have you, Chimp sat there on the chair, <laughs> um, he was like, look, let's just get through tonight's show and worry about this tomorrow, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Look, so they put a chimp in a suit, Where, what, was that handmade, or were the sleeves a bit short on him? You idiot, think! So, so anyway, it's sat there, right, and they're going, right, here we go, good luck everyone, right? Yeah. Uh, chimp's there. What programme is this? It's a chat show. Oh, uh, who's, who's chat show is it? Well, it's, it's the monkeys. I now. like the fact that it's they... It's the monkeys now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, like, say... I like the fact that they put the chimp in a suit, it's like, no one's gonna take this chat show seriously if he's not dressed up, <laughs> if he's not smart. <laughs> slovenly, look at that, <laughs> slovenly ape! So anyway, oh. let's, 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 you know, get to the point of it and that, right? So, anyway, so, they, they go on, right, it's all going... Going Didn't brilliant. happen. This is no yeah. way this happened. Here's a moment, fundamental so anyway. question. How was the chimp asking questions? Um, not, not sure about that bit, but <laughs> all, all I've got is the stuff that was on the news site for this. Like I say, I, I've got But it's you, rubbish! Yeah, but I'll give you some facts. I've no, told no, no. you, there's a TV channel in Moscow that's having problems, right? I've, I've explained that no, bit. No, it's this rubbish. They've got rid of the presenters, the monkey sat there. Right, don't worry about it anyway, I'm telling you, it goes alright. Alright, all right. All right. Oh, so anyway, okay. in case you're worried, Rick. He's sat there, right? Absolutely. You get shit. to the first break, they're like, can't believe it, right? You know, viewing figures and that, they're loving it, right? What now? What? So how did they know the viewing figures? In the break? Please and do not interrupt me. What, what did the chimp do in the it, first half? They, they, had a, they had a big guest on that, that week and what And what did he do? Just talk to Who himself? They walked on. So Cher comes I'm on. Not, yeah. I'm not sure, but say if it is Cher, right? No, right. what? The main gaffer is like going, oh, Cher's gonna go mental at us, right, for putting Say it is, no, it is Cher. It, no, it's in his Cher. mind, it's Cher sitting there talking to a chimp in a suit. So anyway, she And they're filming it for Moscow TV, and the ratings are going through the roof. <laughs> Presumably there's a translator, because Cher doesn't speak either Russian or chimp. <laughs> so she comes off, right, and the bloke who's in charge is like, she's gonna go mad. She's gonna go mad here. She walks up, she goes, I love that. <laughs> Said that's one of the best interviews, right? So anyway, they decided, right? It went so well, kept him on. He's still there. I love the fact that Cher was an idea that Steve threw up, and now she's going. I love that. I love that. I love that, Jim. Get oh. me back there. I want to go to Moscow. Never mind. Don't, Unbelievable. Don't, don't have a go at me. Have a go at John. But you know, if you've got any monkey news, send it in. Podcast at RickyGervais.com.